I'm gonna be using this 808 from my kit called Grit. So all I'm doing is just hitting cut itself and then I'm gonna go to the piano roll and we're gonna make a pattern. All right, yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Q. I'm back again with another video for you guys. As you can see, the location's a little switch up. We are at the Split Martin Studio. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something that's a little bit out of my comfort zone, at least in my opinion. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make samples for Travis Scott. So some kind of like dark melodic type stuff. In this video, I'm gonna be using Analog Lab, but realistically, you can use anything, any plugin you want. You can use Omnisphere. So we got FL pulled up, and as you can see, it is set to 171 BPM. And as soon as I enable all these insert effects and turn the master on, you're going to hear a lot of white noise just because I have I had a decent amount of white noise pulled up in this video or in this sample. And as you can see, all I did was render the stems out. So I initially started with this patch right here from Analog Lab. It is from Kill September's Bank. It is called Distractions. And all I did was lay down some chords in the key of A sharp minor. And it sounds like this. There's also a little top melody playing. It's these chords right here and all you or notes right here and all you do to play these chords is you make a simple triad and to make these chords all you have to do is from the root note skip two notes place your second chord or note and then skip three notes and place your third note and you'll have a simple triad all i did was bring down the bass note and this is what we have so far As you can tell, this initial patch kind of has like a good bass layer going for it, but it has like an up top like whistly sound that kind of has like a really weird bounce. And at first I didn't really like that, but as I, as I started adding more and more layers, it started to fill it out a lot better. So the second thing I ended up doing was from the same bank, the Kill September bank, and I just used this pluck sound and I filled out the rest of that like whistle sound, that up top melodic layer. Oh, by the way, the way I was processing these is for that for that pluck sound right here. I have an Echo Cat, which is this plugin by Waves, just adding like some really short echoes that make it sound like it's in a hallway. Then we have an effect rack, and as you can see, I actually have a decent amount of stuff on here. I have this micro shift, which kind of like detunes it a little bit. Primal tap, which is just kind of like a delay again. And then I have Valhalla Vintage Verb, pretty much default bank and then just a fruity love filter next thing i did here was just a lead and the processing for that was just a simple eq looks like that and then the valhalla vintage verb yet again and i just turned the decay down a little bit after that i did something a little weird i have this patch right here called synth steel pan from same exact bank the kill september one shout out my boy super fire bank and i did this really weird pattern right here but it sounds super cool And there's a decent amount of processing on this. Some EQ took out a lot, a lot of frequencies. Delay Eternity, the default preset. Some reverb by Valhalla again. I just turned that decay down a lot. And then another Fruity Love filter. And the last thing I did here was just added a bass. And then what I did after that is I enabled record on each one of the insert channels. And I just hit option R on my keyboard and I render these out as the stems and that's where we start on this part right here so we have all the sounds and all I did is arrange it how I wanted it to sound which everything together sounds like this And then as you can see, I put the stems in the loop just so any other producers that end up using this loop, they have access to the actual stems of the sound and can just work with it how they want to work with it. Yeah, then I rendered that out. So now what we're going to do is just put the drums down on this. So I'm going to make a new FL Studio session. All right, so I brought the loop into a new FL Studio session and I just stemmed it out. So it still sounds the same. Now all I'm going to do is make the bass unique. Track that out and then I'm going to track the rest of the sounds to the other mixer track. And we're just going to add an EQ and pull out all the low end. I pulled out some of the high end too, just to get rid of that hissing. So now I'm just going to loop this part of the sample. We're going to pull in a pattern and let's get started on the drums. So all the drums I'm going to be using are from my new kit that I just dropped on my website. I have a link in the description, selfie.com slash Quentin Bobbitt. And I'm telling you, this is my favorite drum kit I've ever made. I went through and made each one of these sounds sound super warm and they're really geared toward like that virtual, virtual style of beats. Everything sounds super warm and crisp.
This kit also has a bunch of different MIDI patterns. For example, it has a default clap pattern and it has a bunch of hi-hat MIDI patterns. So you could just easily make that hi-hat and clap pattern. You don't have to waste your time coming up with your own. All right, let's get an open hat going. All right, so that is pretty much it for the percussion element of the drums right now. I don't really want to add too much. I'm gonna just go straight into the 808 just to get that bounce down. I'm gonna be using this 808 from my kit called Grit. So all I'm doing is just hitting cut itself and then I'm gonna go to the piano roll and we're gonna make a pattern. Cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the beat. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, hit that like button. If this video was a little short, sorry about that. Uh, I'm still trying to get used to just working in this environment and everything. The next video will definitely be a little bit better and probably a lot longer and more in detail. But make sure you hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out my kits. Like I said, that new drum kit just dropped and it's super, 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 super awesome. So if you guys are looking for any new drums, go ahead and cop that. It really helps support me. And I mean, hey, you get some fire drums. But that's all I got for you guys right now. I'll have to see you in the next one. Peace out.